you can reprogram him genetically? Yes. So what you're saying is that you can transform him from one kind of ape to another? Okay, this is where I draw the line. For one thing, where the hell do you come up with that kind of conclusion? And for another, it's just fucking stupid! I mean, not only do nanorobotics not work that way, genetics don't work that way, and science in general doesn't work that way. <sighs> <sighs> yeah, much better. What the? Warning, only drink while gaming? Ah, what's the worst that can happen? So the detectives investigate a loft in Chinatown. Is it me, or has this whole movie just been these two idiots investigating crap? Come to think of it, so far, this whole movie has revolved more around them than Dr. Jekyll. I'm sorry, but last time I checked, this movie was called The Strange Case of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, not The Retarded Case of Detective Bitch and Detective Dumbass. Hell, the whole point of this two-review Halloween special was to review movies about Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. That's why I called it the Dr. Jekyll, Mr. Hyde double feature Halloween craptacular. <laughs> so, it turns out that Mr. Hyde repeatedly raped the loft's tenant and threatened to torture her again if she came to the police. Funny, I wouldn't have figured her to be Mr. Hyde's type. You know, having a pulse and everything. So Jekyll's girlfriend drags him and his friend to opera night at the coffee bar she works at. However, Jekyll's not feeling too well. Oh my god, he's turning into Don King! Run! So he turns into Mr. Hyde. Unfortunately, everyone in the room notices, so he goes on another rampage. Then Hyde drives off to the lab and tries to get in, but he gets interrupted by a rather stupid security guard. Oh, uh, why are we laughing? HYDE SMASH! So Hyde beats the security guard to death by repeating the same clip of him hitting the guy. I'm sorry, but that is just one of the cheapest effects I've ever seen. So Hyde finds the drug and tries to inject himself with it, but it's not doing anything. What's the matter, asswipe? Shit ain't working for you anymore? Jekyll! Curse your sudden but inevitable betrayal! So the cops show up to confront Hyde, but instead they encounter a dying Jekyll. I always love you. Awesome, the movie's over. Now I can Unfortunately, Hyde shows up anyway. The detective tries to shoot Hyde, but apparently he's immune to bullets because the nanobots gave him healing powers. Sure, why not? Oh wait, I already know why not. Because nanobots don't fucking work that way! So, Mr. Hyde grabs Jekyll's girlfriend and... turns into a monkey? Wait, 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 what? 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 Monkey? What? Monkey? Monkey? What? What? Monkey? What? So Hyde kid- I, 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 I'm sorry. I still can't get over that. Monkey? 
Mr. Hyde is a were monkey? Why? For the love of God, why? Now, I've dealt with some pretty questionable decisions before. Like, why give Dracula billions of dead vampire babies? Why put Final Fantasy VII characters in a fighting game that has nothing to do with them? Why give Werecats an Oedipus complex? Now, the thing is, all of these questions have answers. Unbelievably stupid answers, but answers nonetheless. This, on the other hand, baffles me. Why turn Mr. Hyde into a were monkey? Is it because the drug was tested on monkeys? Is it because humans are sort of similar to monkeys? Was Hyde bitten by a radioactive monkey? Somebody, please explain! Why turn Mr. Hyde into a monkey? So Hyde kidnaps Jekyll's girlfriend and kills one of the detectives. On second thought, go monkey Hyde! So the other detective finally gets over her fear of guns and shoots the ever-loving fuck out of Hyde. Unfortunately, that didn't do anything but turn him back into Mr. Hyde. So, we spend a huge chunk of the movie developing this character's fear of guns, and the resolution is wasted. In other words, that huge, seemingly important, recurring plot device turns out to be completely pointless. However, Jekyll and Hyde start to fight for control. Is it me? Or does this scene seem familiar? Like it was similar to a scene in a much better movie. Not that one! Although admittedly, I would much rather watch cat people get it on than this piece of crap. I mean, doesn't this look like a scene from another, much better movie that was also loosely based on Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde? Yeah, the internal conflict scene at the end of Nutty Professor. So, Dr. Jekyll decides to kill himself. there'd be a little more impact falling from that height. So the movie ends with Dr. Jekyll dying. This movie is horrible! Now, to give credit where credit is due, Tony Todd was excellent in that movie. He was a fantastic Dr. Jekyll, and his Mr. Hyde was just brilliant. However, his brilliant acting comes nowhere close to saving this movie. The plot is forced, the updates were idiotic at best, and with one exception, all of the actors in this movie were fucking rancid! Ugh, this movie just hurts to watch! But we're not done yet. Oh no, stay tuned for part two of this Dr. Jekyll, Mr. Hyde double feature Halloween craptacular. <laughs> until then, uh, until then, this is the necro, uh, this is the necro critic say, oh god, uh, uh, Whoa. That was weird.